Invite a budget blind style consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. Well, the saying goes, there's an app for everything, including one to monitor your social media presence. Now, parents may be tempted to take advantage of this to keep tabs on their teens, but Gerard Lampau reports it could cost more than you think. I do it through an app called Kick, where they don't know my phone number, they can't get my address, and they can't get any personal information other than my first name. This teenager has had her own phone for over six months. She knows that parents are concerned about their kids' online presence and are wary of the dangers of online predators. She has made a few friends online that her parents know about. So yeah, I have a couple apps on my phone that do that, and I have friends they know about. They know what I talk to them about, and they know who they are. Her dad is an IT specialist. He says he has built a rapport with his kids and taken a step-by-step -step approach as they move to the next level. The biggest thing is to have an agreement with your child when they get an electronic device. This is what you use it for. This is what's acceptable. This is what's not acceptable. And as long as they maintain that, they're allowed to keep it. He pays for his daughter's phone, which is a pay-as-you-go. It has no data, and she knows what the penalties are if she breaks her father's trust. That trust is a two-way street. With that also comes the responsibility of you can get apps, you can get social media, and you can get things where you can talk to complete strangers. When trust gets broken, parents will apply penalties to interrupt teens from being online. And I find when I don't have my electronics and stuff, I spend more time with the family. The Teen Safe app allows parents to view texts, see calls, and check up on social media activity. And for every app, there are still ways to block it. However, parents could end up doing more harm if they are monitoring without having a conversation with their teens. On top of that, you've now blown their trust. Because if you've done it behind their backs, if they're a problem child, then you need to deal with that um, if they're uh, if you've had difficulty with them where they've been involved with the law and they've been uh, in, in trouble, then don't give them the electronic device in the first place. Contrast that with this teen. Since she was banned, she is now more reflective. So when I'm on my phone and I feel like if I need to be hiding what I'm doing, then why am I doing it? And I think that that's how kids should look at it because why are you doing something that your parents shouldn't know about? Parents may also be battling their lack of tech savvy, and that too can be part of the conversation with their kids, opening a door for everyone to learn. Look, I'm, I'm nervous about you being on this. And you'd find that most kids, I mean, relatively, the general population of kids are going to be quite open and honest with their parents about what they're doing. Gerard Lampau, Newcap News. Well, it's a uh, time of the year again, back to school, and there's always so much to do, buying books, supplies, and even clothes. But what about the lunchtime food for your kids? Are you going to prepare the same old lunch meals, or are you going to try something a little healthier this year? Chris Khan has a look in this week's Healthy Living. Eating healthy, something a majority of people would love to do, but don't always do it. And well, if you're one of them, this year you can have a fresh start and do so by packing healthy lunches for your little ones. It's super important to feed their kids healthy food. Number one, some of those habits that kids pick up really early on in their years, and especially in those school years, they last for a really long time and well into adulthood and, and affect those later on diseases, chronic diseases that are diet related for sure. Who would have thought taking a little extra time in planning out healthier lunches could prevent future diseases? Well, it definitely can. So much so that the Catholic School Board has established a lunch program, one intended for children to get plenty of the nutrients they need. Salad Bar program is an exciting program that we offer for students that give them an opportunity to eat healthy vegetables and fruit and salad in a fun environment. And it's an opportunity for all students to have Salad Bar, not just certain children. Now the big question, are kids really going to want to eat greens instead of their favorite salty snacks? Well, these students sure didn't mind. What I like about the salad bar is that like, there's lots of healthy food and good choices to make. I like that there's a lot of vegetables and fruits, and it's not like a normal lunch. You get to pick 
compared to eating fries and then eating salad, it's a big difference. If you're feeling a little stuck and are unsure of what to buy or what to make, there is a lot of help out there. There are lots of resources out there to help kids and parents pack healthy lunches and have healthy meals and days overall. Uh, Googling, looking in the library, finding those resources with your local dietitians or other health care providers are great ways to get in touch and find recipes and other really fun, cool ideas. With school starting right around the corner, it's very important to be organized. Create a healthy grocery list and even plan out your weekly meals. But above all, try to maintain eating healthy. Krisha Khan, New Cap News.